Hey everybody, Brian Tro coming to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing with your fly fishing forecast. The date today is Monday, March 14th. So it was a wild weekend. We had uh, like almost blizzard like conditions here on Saturday, which was pretty crazy. Uh, March is like that around here. Uh, big ups and downs, 60 some degrees on Friday, followed by three, four inches, some places a lot more. If you look up in the mountains, places got five, six, seven inches of snow. 45 mile an hour winds blowing and drifting um, and then uh, temperatures wind chills 10 below zero saturday night so moving on looking forward uh things are looking nice uh it looks like this week it's pretty much going to be like in the 60s the whole week uh, a little bit of chance of rain coming in thursday um, we could use a little bit more rain uh, but all in all really nice spring week shaping up um, there's going to be snow melt for the next two days or so. Uh, for those of you who are from out of the area, um, you know, you, you may have to be careful heading up high in the mountains, up in the national forest, like on some of the back forest roads. I'm sure there's snow packed, snow covered, and then hopefully by maybe the middle of the week, uh, those will be free, freed up from snow. So we'll take a little dip in our temperatures, our water temps over the next day or so before they begin to rebound. Um, let's move on to hatches. Let's talk about spring hatches. Okay, so here's where we are so far. Obviously, midges are still hatching. They're, they're with us all winter long. Bluing olives are hatching on those uh, overcast, calm days. Uh, we've been talking a little bit over the last few weeks about our quills. Those are still around. They're gonna be important probably for another couple weeks. Blue Dunn's quills, quill gordons, size 16. Um, but there's also quite a few little black stone, I mean, uh, sorry, little black uh, caddis and uh, stoneflies too. But the little black caddis or the granum, that's a really important bug um, that hatches this time of year. Unlike our mayfly hatches, a little bit more sporadic, one here, one there. Um, but uh, elk hair caddis, black in size 16, is a really important fly to have. Um, and then kind of looking forward a little bit, because we are in mid-March now, towards the end of March, particularly in the Blue Ridge, you're going to start seeing your Hendrickson's. And that's kind of like your first decent size mayfly. Um, that's going to be hatching off uh, for this spring. So that's just a, a couple weeks off. Uh, so be prepared for you, you, you fly tires. Um, you know, spin up a couple Hendrickson's, have them ready. Um, other flies that'll work really well um, would be like uh, parachute pheasant tails, parachute hare's ears. Those are great. They just imitate kind of any kind of mayfly. They float really well. Nice post that you can see, um, especially on a day where there maybe is low light. The tractor patterns are working well uh, on, for the brook trout up in the mountains on days where they're excited, but if you want to match the hatch, those bugs that I just kind of went over are where you need to be. Um, colder days, colder mornings, like this morning it was 22 degrees. Um, you still need to have be equipped with nymphs, uh, have plenty of nymphs with you. Um, but yeah, that's the mountains in a nutshell over the next week or so. Maybe a little tough today, tomorrow, let some of that snow melt, let that get through, and let some of these uh, warm days start to, to allow you to get out there. You know, we sprung forward. So for those of you who get off work a little early, now you got a little more daylight to play with at the end of the day. Maybe get to shoot out to the creek for an hour or so before you're done. Um, if you're down here on our spring creeks, uh, there's not tons of big bug hatches. You'll see those little black caddis that I was talking about. You'll see those here and there. Um, but we're still several weeks away from major mayfly hatches on uh, some of our spring creeks. So um, streamers, uh, sculpin patterns, uh, zudlers, muddlers, um, some of these articulated swim baits that we have, swim patterns, the swim coach, uh, those have been doing really well. Near enough sculpins, Whitlock's near enough sculpins. Um, these have all been uh, producing pretty well. Or you can just nip fish. Um, Again, get out and enjoy our delayed harvest streams. A lot of those are getting their spring stockings uh, in addition to the fish that are, that are already there um, because you only got a couple months left to really enjoy those before they open up for harvest and ultimately start to get a little too warm. Uh, so hit those up too. Um, and as far as those folks who like to float the river, again, the musky window is starting to close. We probably by this time next week uh, we'll, we'll be really on the lookout for fish for muskie to, to be um, starting to move to do their thing for the spring. So we, we kind of stay away from them. The month of April is usually our, our, our month we, we look to, but 
it can it can start earlier. So we'll try and keep everybody up to date on when when to kind of lay off the musky fishing. The smallmouth bass fishing still pretty slow. You got to work hard for them. Uh, that'll change over the next week or two. Um, so and then just looking ahead for this week, beautiful weather, a uh, little chance of rain maybe Thursday. Um, also events coming up. We've got our uh, F3T here in Harrisonburg, the fly fishing film tour. It's going to be at Court Square Theater. You can buy tickets from us uh, online. Uh, you can buy them in person. Uh, we're going to have a little happy hour here at the shop beforehand. So that's this coming Friday um, around 5-ish. We'll, we'll uh, have some sales and some discounts and stuff here in the store and maybe a couple of beers. So uh, anyway, come, come by and see us. And get ready, the fishing's really, really gonna take off. So this week looks great, and this upcoming weekend so far looks really great. So um, check your lines, old lines, if you need line replacements, if you need cleaners, um, check all your terminal tackle. We've got everything you need in stock, uh, ready to go. So anyway, uh, it's time. Let this pesky snow get out of here, and then we'll be back onto the water in no time. All right, I'll see you all next week.